one minute videos. I'm gonna start demonstrating my code first. You can select the level here, easy, medium, hard. I will select easy and go with one of the algorithms. I will choose BFS. You can see the iteration here. Each step, each iterations, each board will be shown here, and the result will be shown here too. You can see the solution path by clicking the enter. This is all made by this app app class, which is basically the UI and all the stuff that start the whole program, the organize the whole program. And uh, of course, this is uh, <coughs> this is eight puzzle itself. All the things like cost, directions, steps uh, will be stored here and also it will able to generate the successors with this function <coughs> it, the the function itself will be on where the zero is and check the around of the zero to make sure there is a possible neighbors could be generated and if it's possible to generate it it will be generated with its directions its cost the more cost the 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 increment and depth and all the stuffs. And give me a second, I need to check the list. Okay, uh, back to this. There is also the Manhattan functions or Manhattan methods and the mismatch method, which is generated the Manhattan distance sum and the mismatch sum uh, by comparing it with the goal, goal board, with this board. You can see how it's generated and how mismatch is generated. Okay. Also, for the different data structure, data structure we will use for the edge, each different algorithms, I will also override these methods, like the equals hash code, and compare to for like different situations, you know, and all these get get and set stuff. Okay. Next, move to the solvers, which is basically where we. Okay, which is basically the uh, search algorithms. All stuff here, all the information, the solution we have is here. And this is an abstract class because most of the BFS, the bread for, bread for search algorithms, used similar structures as heuristic, heuristic, heuristic strategies. All the heuristic, heuristic algorithms will have the similar structure, with only difference that ex, 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 evaluate, evaluate values will be different, or the priority values generated will be different. So it's here, it will be different. Okay, back to the main loop. Uh, here is the board. The, the board itself is several. Uh, give me a second. Okay, I only have two minutes, I will be quicker. Here's the main loop. This is neighbors. Each generated neighbors will go through this to check is duplicated by compared to explored. And this is the heuristic part. It will check is the pass the pass different pass. The pass is smaller than the current one, so it will be like inserted to the queue, the priority queue, and it will be like examined first. Okay, give me a second. The priority, it will be changed the priority for the for for this board. So it will be examined first by this queue. This is most most heuristic algorithm or strategy we'll have. You can see most of them is just different with the how they generate is the priority. Like for the UCS, it will be the pass cost, the DBFS, or the greedy pass first is the mismatch. Uh, SR2 is Manhattan plus the pass cost. And Manhattan one is similar. Okay. Okay, only one minute left. I'm gonna uh, tell about my BFS and DFS. DFS is using the stack since it's initially for actions for the for the search itself. So it will be pop popped first, and this is diff how it's different. The, Last part, the generated neighbors will be put into the stack after all the stuff like checking it in the in the list or things like that. Uh, all after it, it will be generated last. And in BFS, we're gonna like do the things first and edit edit into the into the queue. Into the queue since it's uh, a FIFO. First thing, first out. 
and that's it. Five minutes is up. I'm gonna stop.